السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ویلکم ٹو حسین فرینڈز ان دس ویڈیو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس 17 پی ڈبلیو 26 ڈیش 4 اٹ از پارٹ نمبر 5 آف دس ویڈیو آئی ڈسکسڈ آلریڈی ان تھیوری اینڈ پریکٹیکل آف دس بورڈ ہاؤ دس بورڈ از ورکنگ پارٹ نمبر 1 انپٹ اینڈ فلٹر سرکٹ پارٹ نمبر 2 resonant circuit part number 3 standby section part 4 24 volt and main power supply and today it is a sub part it is sub portion of 12 volt power supply it generates 5 volt we have two type of 5 volt the first 5 volt is generated from the standby section but today we will discuss 5 volt buck converter in buck converter section we have two ic's the first ic here that is C cat 7581 cat 7581 and here we have ao4842 if we see at the diagram here is cat 7581 and we have ao4842 these two ic's it is a combination now we will discuss how it is working first it takes 12 volt from where if we see on the board 12 volt section it is 14 24 volt and 12 volt it take 12 volt at this point i injected external power supply i did not power on the board i just only powered on this section and i will connect external power and we will see the signals and we will discuss on diagram and we will see on multimeter how it will give 5 volt in the output it takes 12 volt there is no transformer no anything just only these two ic's ao4842 this is 8 pin ic actually it have two mosfets it is combination of two mosfets if we look very closely pin number 8 and 7 are d2 that means drain number 2 6 and 5 drain number 1 source number 1 gate number 1 source number 2 gate number 2 so we have two fets 1278 4356 4, these two fets and its internal diagram is like this at this point it takes 12 volt then there is a regulator voltage regulator here it have 6.8 volt regulator zener and this one we will take 10 volt regulated output from the emitter then this regulated voltage will apply to boost pin this boost pin is startup pin high side driver actually this buck converter ic buck pwm controller it makes switching at 300 kilohertz it have pin number 1 is boot pin number 2 is up u gate up gate it means upper gate 3 is ground pin number 4 is lower gate dual mosfet driver high drive low drive so vcc feedback oc set and phase works as 300 kilohertz and we will see practically how much is frequency here is the function of pins pin number 1 is boost this pin produces the voltage to the upper gate mosfet mosfet driver and bootstrap circuit may use to generate boot voltage u gate connect to mosfet upper gate ground is ground and it's also uses for lower gate l gate at it means lower mosfet gate driver vcc it have 4.5 volt to 13.2 volt we can apply it here and then it takes feedback oc set this pin two functions one is current protection r o c set between pin and phase the other pulling this pin to a level 
below 0.5 disables the chip. If we turn, want to turn off the power, if we, pin number 7 is grounded, it will turn off. Phase. Switch node pin connect to the first source, upper, upper IC, upper MOSFET IC. So let's see. First of all, we will take 12 volts, 10 volt regulated. This regulated voltage will apply to boost pin and we apply 12 volts to the VCC pin. It will start switching CSSD. It is feedback. Here at this point, if we see pin number 7, 7 is the output of 7 number pin is CSSD. It is connected to current sense. If there is overcurrent or any condition, so it will sense and in overcurrent condition, in short condition, short circuit condition, it will turn off, it will be protect. So it, it will start switching to the both gates, gate 1 and gate 2. 12 volt are applied from 2K2 resistor at pin number 5 through these inductors and these are filtered at this point and we will take from the second because these are in series in push pull stage so pin number 7 and 8 are D2 it will provide us 300 kilohertz switching and after after filtering we will take 5 volt in the output first of all I will apply ground external 12 volt I adjusted 12 volt this pin is ground line I will show you here so I connected I connected 12 volt external from external power supply we connected external 12 volt here at the base and from the emitter from this point we will take this combination of this zener and this resistor R800 we will take 10 volt and if you look at diagram these 10 volt will apply to this IC pin number 1 pin number 1 the emitter of this transistor will provide us 10 volt at this point then we have a diode D802 D802 is here then we will receive voltage at this point we applied this 10 volt to pin number 5 6 5 and 6 to MOSFET number 1 when these voltage are available at the MOSFETs because this time it is switching so we are taking these voltage and pin number 1 pin number 1 of this MOSFET set is ground and pin number 2 it is switching at 300 kilohertz it is showing 305 kilohertz so the frequency is can be adjusted by the resistors 4 is also switching Pin number 4 has also taken 305 kilohertz and in the output we receive 5 volt three hundred five kilohertz it is output of the MOSFET taking 10 volt 10 volt DC but 
10 volt here I received 10 volt we applied 12 volt here we applied external 12 volt here after regulation we received 10 volt these 10 volt are applied here this IC st this IC started switching when it is switching then we will receive this voltage here 5.1 volt after regulation here after this coil we will receive this voltage now we will check here it is 5 volt and after this filter after this inductor this inductor we are taking a regulated 5 volt applied 12 volt regulated 10 volt then it buck converter decreased this voltage level at 5 volt why due to switching due to buck converter action then we have a feedback CSSD CSSD is connected here the same time the output 5 volt the output section of 5 volt is connected to pin number 5 of this uh, pin number 6 of this IC through R1046 and R804 this resistor network voltage divider network will apply voltage to feedback pin pin number 6 so here at this pin we are taking the feedback from here output of from here this point from this line it is brought to here through these resistors and here it is 5 volt when we find this 5 volt that means this IC is working properly it is closed loop I hope so this video is good for you if it is good like subscribe and share if you want Thanks for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.